Welcome everyone, here's how you lock apps in your Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. So when I open up the shop, it needs a uh, pattern, and until I enter that in, I will not be able to gain access. But very important you understand this. What we're going to do is we're going to create a duplicate version of the app, and the duplicate version will be locked. That means for the regular version, make sure you sign out of all of your accounts, you know, remove all the data, don't uninstall the app, otherwise the secure folder won't work. Okay, so the first step is we're going to open up the settings app. From here, we're going to scroll all the way down until we see biometrics and security. We're then going to scroll all the way down until we see secure folder. We're then going to see draw unlock pattern. That's what shows up for me, but for you, it will ask you to sign into your Samsung account if you haven't already. It will ask you to agree to some terms and conditions and then just tap on continue and it will create the secure folder. When the secure folder is created, you will not be brought to the secure folder settings. Instead, you'll be brought to a view which looks like this. So when you are here, just tap on the triple dots, tap on settings. This is where you can change the lock type. You also can auto lock the secure folder. So by default, it is set to when screen turns off. You can change this to every time I lock an app. It's up to you what type of security you want. And there are a bunch of other options here to change. But the main important part is adding apps. So open up the secure folder itself, tap on the plus, and then add apps you want to lock. So let's say I want to lock, blah, 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 uh, let's say the smart switch app for the sake of it, just tap on add, and now the app is added. So we're gonna long press on the app, I'm going to tap on add to home, add, and now we have a shortcut for the locked app on the home screen. Now the default app, let's say the default smart switch, you just sign out of all of your deep information, stuff like that. And then when you go to open up the secure folder version, it will ask for the pattern or the pin. In my case, it didn't ask because of the settings I changed earlier. Okay. So if we go back to settings, let's just auto lock secure folder and just do every time I leave an app. And now it wants my pattern, pin or passcode in order to open up the application. If you watched this far, yes, you can set it to Touch ID as well. With that being said, thanks for watching. If you appreciate my videos, check out the affiliate links in the description for Z Flip 4 accessories, case, etc. Bye-bye.